Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech and today I have another ROM review for you guys. And this is Carbon ROM. So if you guys don't know, I reviewed this um, a couple of months ago. And it's actually my most popular video that I've done. And so it's been a while since I've reviewed it, so I wanted to go back and review the latest update of this ROM. So if we go into settings, this is version 1.6.1. .1, and I reviewed version 1. So there's been a lot of changes since. Um, as you can see, it is version 1.6.1. .1. And of course, it is Android 4.2.2. .2. So um, if you want the latest 3.4 kernels, I don't think they're compatible with this ROM yet because I'm looking in the kernel section as 3.0. So it might be a little bit bummer. I mean, the 3.4 kernels aren't completely stable yet. So, I mean, you're not going to be able to tell a huge difference there. And the reason I liked this ROM before is that it was always really fast for me. So, um, I, it was one of the first 4.2.2 ROMs, this and Liquid Smooth. And uh, Liquid Smooth is great, guys, but I don't know why, but this has always been a little bit faster. And it also has a lot of options, and so does Liquid Smooth, but this one has a lot of options also. So, um, if you guys watched my last couple of videos, most of the ROMs, AOSP ROMs, have been having this feature right here, where it says dark and then the name of the ROM. Um, Liquid Smooth had that... Uh, um, some other ROMs also. So basically a lot of ROMs are going, or at least 4.2.2 ROMs, are going with this feature. And so basically you click Dark Carbon, and it will make the screen a little bit darker, so all the blacks will be a little bit blacker. And it also uh, customizes the keyboards a little. As you can see, the messaging app is now black, and the keyboard looks different too. So, um... Yeah, and it'll add some different stuff. I think it turns the email black too. Yeah, so the email is dark too. So I mean it depends if you like it or not. It's a pretty cool feature to have and lots of ROMs are adding that feature now. Um, so on the outside you'll have carbon links right here. Carbon ROM is where most of your customization options will be. We have performance right here which is from just the normal performance you could go up here and go up to 1.1.5 or yeah and you could change the governors here for example to on demand whatever you want there in the IO scheduler and then we get exposed right here so you could install the frameworks and play around with the per app settings you could change the DPI of the apps again that's also being used in a lot of 4.2.2 ROMs and actually even touch res ROMs too of course, we get the uh, normal themes, which comes on every CM10.1 AOKP ROM. And then we get Carbon ROM. So as I said, this is where most of your features are going to be. At the top, we have About Carbon ROM. And here you could donate to all the developers that helped. As you can see, it has Slim ROMs, AOKP, and Cyanogen Mod here too, because they use some of that source um, for this ROM. Keep going, we have interface. This is the basic stuff you see when you open up general and AOKP. Um, we have transparency settings here. You can change the UI mode to tablet UI, but you will have to enable the navigation bar. Uh, we have dual panel mode, which in the settings you could have the dual panel like in um, tablets. You can change the LCD density here if you want more of a tablet UI. Also, you could add a recent RAM bar. CRT screen off and on animations. Uh, you could have a low battery warning, show Wi-Fi network name, and power button torch to light up the torch. If we go to lock screen here, we can enable all widgets, uh, lock screen rotation, uh, shortcuts, up to eight targets on the circle, and um, we can also enable widget carousel, which if you don't know, it's like on the tablets where when you swipe it's kind of like a carousel which looks a lot better than just the flat animation then of course we get navigation bar we can enable our nav bar and um, customize how we want it of course we get pie controls also so you just have to click there enable it and you could go through the settings of how you want it to show you that it's working just enabled it and if I drag up there it is Pi control is working good. 
and normal. If we keep going here, we have power menu right here. This is the basic power menu stuff. You can enable expand desktop, uh, screenshot, sound panel, and then this is the power menu here, and you have all these options now to use whenever you want. If we keep going, we have power widget. If you don't know what power widget is, it's um, you can enable it. And it's the old CM10 style 4.1.2 uh, toggles, so you could have the normal toggles like you did have before. And I mean, if you really are used to that before, then you might really like that feature. And of course, those are customizable too. Then we do get status bar. Um, we could go in here, battery icon bar style. So here we get a lot of options to choose from. Uh, some cool ones that I found that are here. We have speed meter. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys could see better. That's how the speed meter looks. Um, there's also um, where is it? Square mod. So you could have a square battery there too. And I mean, um, it's pretty cool that you get all those battery options. Now you just heard some dogs barking. Sorry about that. Got two of them in the house right now. Um, uh, you could also uh, customize your clock and date options here. You could change the color, add AM, PM, date, and date format if you want to change it up. You could also disable the clock if you don't want it there at all. You could also customize the signal strength icon. And if you move down, we have some notification count stuff. Basically, when you get like five emails, at the top, instead of just showing the email logo, it will show you the number of emails you've got, so it will be a little number there. And then breathing SMS, breathing mis missed call. It's when you get um, a missed call or SMS, and it will be up there going black and white, black and white, black and white, kind of flashing. So that's a love or hate thing. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of that, but some people like it. Um, and last but not least, we have status bar toggles. You can go in here, customize the toggle setup. It actually used the method from AOKP. So go in here, change toggles, add all the toggles you want. And then if you want to move them, you can move, for example, um, Bluetooth. You hold the little button right here and then just move it up wherever you want to put it. And it'll um, automatically save it for you. You could also add um, favorite contact. You could change the toggles per row. And you could also change the toggle style from tiles to d traditional or traditional sc scrollable. And traditional is, as I said before, the stock 4.1.2 way that we were used to before. And guys, that's pretty much it for this ROM. It has a lot of awesome features that it compiled from AOKP, Slim ROMs, and um, um, AOK or sorry, Cyanogen mod. And that's what really makes this a great ROM. I mean, it's fast. You get a lot of features. And good battery life for me as it's been going on for now. And guys, I really recommend this. Um, there might be an update coming soon. As this is the March 29th build. This is the official build. And they also have nightlies. Um, if you want to install a nightly, those are updated every night, obviously. But if you want official one that you're not going to have any bugs with, then this will be the one for you. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, a comment, and like down below. Also, please donate to me, guys, if you enjoy my videos so I can get future devices. Also, subscribe to me if you're getting the Galaxy S4 because it's coming and I will be having an unboxing of it and all the good stuff, reviews, ROM reviews after I root it. And yeah, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.